Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and today we are doing a fan request build. So, building question is a zealot support build and what does that contain? So, we are going for more of a team coherency support kind of style and uh, it's got more of a melee focus and range so we're missing out middle points that give us buffs to shooting but we go down here with disdain enemies in enemies on out going for the stun grenade because in the sort of spirit of team supporting we're going for stunning instead of damage so we're going to pick up the stun storm grenade all the points across here because they're all useful but you're also going to grab uh, dance of death and by wrath be swift as it gives you a little bit more survivability and Dance of Death actually combines really nicely with the shotgun, which is what I'm suggesting to use this build. But of course, you can use any gun you want. There are no hard uh, locks for what weapons you need to use for this. You can use pretty much whatever you want. I've just built it around the Iron Helm and the Cantrell Combat Shotgun. But we'll carry on. And we're going with Until Death and Holy Revenant for a bit more survivability on our behalf benediction more survivability more toughness their introduction and we're going with chorus of spiritual fortitude so what this is is a holy re relic that mm, replenishes toughness for all your allies in coherency and remember coherency isn't massive so try and keep it together well keep together with your group and uh, as you can see, if the ally is at full toughness, they instead gain 20% max toughness up to a total of 100. But this doesn't last forever. Okay, so this will drop off at some point. Then we're going down here, grabbing Banishing Light. Each pulse from Chorus of Spiritual Fortitude also staggers and suppresses enemies. Range increased with every pulse. So this is going to help lock down those big hordes and all the specials within it. And we're going to move over here to take Holy Cause. Channeling five pulses grants 25% toughness damage reduction to you and allies in coherency. So this is going to be buffing you and your team even more. The other choice here is the Elysiarchal's Call. Channeling pulse grants 15% damage to you and your allies. But as is a support build, I'm thinking mm, toughness. So this is all about buffing you and the team, making you harder. So obviously we're going over to the right here to grab the melee damage boost and sustained assault pretty standard in most of my builds for the zealot we're grabbing faithful frenzy for the attack speed this also helps quite well with the iron helm because uh, the iron helm's quick attacks are very very useful and very good for single target and then we're going to go down this side to go down to blazing piety so we've got punishment movement speed invocation of death melee critical hits reduce combat ability cooldown which is going to reduce the cooldown of this and then blazing piety and we're going to the right side fury rising and righteous warrior and gear wise as I said before we're using the iron helm um what you really want in this is a thrust and what was the name i've got it written down here somewhere oh thrust and slaughterer but sadly i don't have slaughterer on any of my hammers at the moment so I've got Thrust and Thunderous on that one, or Thrust and Momentum. Momentum is pretty good for self-sustain, so if that's all you've got, then go with that. But Thrust and Slaughter are, are your kind of best go-to for damaging. But for uh, perks, I go for Alak and Carapace most of the time, but you can go for a Crit. And unyielding, unyielding will help you against bosses, and uh, the bigger Ogren. But I do tend to stick with uh, Flak and Carapace just for a more general purpose, all rounder. And for the weapon, I am using the Cantrell shotgun. So this is the fiery version. Uh, I actually wanted to keep the reload speed on this because the reload is stupidly long, and we've gone for manic damage. But you can go for manic and Flak if you want to. Uh, again, these aren't the most uh, 
well, the blessings aren't exactly what you want. So what you really want is a uh, full bore, which is 20% power for five seconds when every pellet in a shot hits the same target. So it's good for taking down big stuff and no respite, which is already on there, up to 20% damage on hit or staggered enemies scaling up with stagger. And the special shot is uh, mouse button four for most people. And that loads a dragon breath round, which sets everything on fire, which is hilarious. But you can also use these for pseudo sniping. The range on them is actually a lot further than you think it is. So if needs be, you can take out a sniper with a shotgun quite happily. Now, as I said, the weapons aren't really locked to this build, so you can take whatever you want, but the Iron Helm is quite nice with its uh, light attacks. They're all quite head focused. And the heavy attacks are usually right, left, and then overhead. So your third attack will always hit the face. Don't forget, you can charge it up to do some big old monster hunter damage. And with thrust, you want to hold that heavy attack for the three seconds to get the three stacks of thrust to do maximum damage. And just to show you what holy, Re um, not holy run, sorry, faith of the, I've completely forgotten what it's called. Uh, chorus of spiritual fortitude. There we go. I keep thinking fear of the faithful. So this is what the chorus looks like, and this is what it does. And it just staggers everything around you and buffs your team. So yeah, there you go. That is my um, zealot support kind of buff build. It works quite well. Obviously, you don't quite have the output of the infiltrate or the year of the faithful but you are far more useful to your team so i hope you guys enjoy it and if you do please like subscribe hit the little bell for notifications because it really does help us out and if you fancy it go check out the members area or 99 of your pennies a month it helps us out and you get membership and all that good stuff so until next time take it easy and i'll see you later